everybody, we're at Hawkson Park for round three of the Service Amateur Nationals. Uh, beautiful weather conditions, I know we've been moaning about weather conditions at the previous two rounds where we've had horrible wet weather, we're probably all going to be moaning about the heat this weekend. It's going to be an absolute scorch, it's a bank holiday weekend, the sun is out. Uh, got here last night, uh, the band was playing, everyone was having a good time, so everyone's in a really good mood, it should be a cracking weekend. So the Junior Open is the first class out of the gates and it's Neil Griffiths getting the early lead there, Matt Redman number 290 also up there and 227 Jack Gotts, Ross Neville, uh, one of our fancied front runners just uh, around about 6th or 7th position there as they came through and already you can see Ross Neville's gone the outside of that uh, section there already on the move and pushing up towards the front end of the field the rest of the pack coming through now. It's very tricky this section, this rhythm section, some very deep ruts all the way through this little section all day. Over the far side, the tabletop, which was used to be the famous Hawkson Park double jump, which Georges Obey uh, famously jumped over Andre Malherbe many years ago in the Grand Prix action. Well, the whole field safely coming through there. Actually, I haven't said that one right, just getting a little bit sketchy there on landing. As we look towards race control, coming through at the end of their first lap, still Neil Griffiths, your race leader, Matt Redman in second position, and Ross Neville there in third position there. That's the end of the first lap, obviously, Hawkston Park, such a big circuit. We've only got a few cameras out there just to bring you a few highlights and a news report. So, as the riders go over the far side of the circuit, how did they stack up over the weekend? Well, in race one, it was a win for 105, Jordan Toland. 613, Neil Griffiths is currently leading this one towards Tuck second. In third position, number 55, Ross Neville. Fourth position, 375, Stephen Sobey. And in fifth position, 251, Oliver Lee. Rounding out the top six was 290, Matt Redman. In race two, it was Neil Griffiths again taking the win, uh, Ross Neville taking second, Ross Fagan taking third, Stephen Sobey taking fourth and rounding out the top five, Hayden Stevens. In race three, it was Jordan Toland taking the win from Ross Neville. So Ross Neville really consistent, not taking the win yet so far though. Uh, Neil Griffiths took third, uh, Erwin, Kevin Brown taking fourth position and Jack Cotts taking fifth. In race... In race four, which is the one we're currently showing you highlights from, from, it was 55 Ross Neville taking the win from Jordan Toland. Stephen Sobey will take third, Jake Morgan will take fourth, and Kevin Brown taking fifth. As you just seen there, as I went through this section, Ross Neville just moving into the lead. In race five, it's going to be another win for Ross Neville. Ollie Rutter takes second, Ross Fagan takes third, Kevin Brown takes fourth, and Gavin Shaw will take fifth position. So the overalls for the weekend, it was Ross Neville getting the overalls. Uh, Oli Rutter will take second overall and in third position that will go to Jordan Toland. In fourth position went to 375 Stephen Sobey and rounding out the top five this weekend, that went to the number six machine of Hayden Stevens. Well, very shortly we'll just see them cross the line and then we're going to have a quick chat with Ross Neville. It's a good it's hard work for everybody. Yeah. A bit hard in the smooth, but as it says, it got rougher. It's obviously I uh, do better in the rough. So it was good overall. Had a good weekend. Hands are Oh, the over 50 vets sponsored by Roberts Plant blasting away and it is 9, 971 Chris Brown leading the charge from 65 Rob Prosser there, 212 Andy Watkins and that looked like 178 Dave Claiborne as well there up in the leading bunch. Riders all streaming through the rhythm section. A very tough demanding circuit, many of regard this has been one of the toughest circuits in the world. There's a number 7X machine and Paul Minihane goes through there. Well, looks like we have a new leader, Andy Watkins taking the lead. Good battle going on between Watkins and Chris Brown. I think Watkins takes the uh, majority of the overalls during the weekend. The long, deep ruts on this particular jump, so it made it quite tricky throughout the day. I remember even coming across this jump myself when somebody literally fell off, literally as they got to the top of the jump. They got a bit cross-rutted on the uh, approach to it. 
as we see it looks like uh, Watkins and Prosser there Brown still there in second position so let's have a look how the weekend fared for the over 50s in race one it is the guy currently leading now at 212 Andy Watkins who took the win in second place was 971 Chris Brown in third position was 170 John Moreland in fourth position was 65 Rob Prosser and in fifth position 490 uh, John Littler Moving on to race two, it was Andy Watkins again taking the win from 971 Chris Brown. Third position went to number 490 John Littler. Fourth position went to 170 John Moreland and Rob Prosser, number 65, having to settle for fifth in race two. In race three, no surprise again, 212, Andy Watkins really finding his circuit to his liking this weekend. Second place went to 971 Chris Brown. Third went to 65 Rod Prosser and fourth went to number 147 Steve Lyons rounding out the top five in race three that went to 120 Rob Glynn. Moving on to race four no surprise again 212 Andy Watkins it was taking the win second position was 971 Chris Brown third place went to 65 Rob Prosser fourth place went to Stephen Lyons number 147 and fifth position went to 120 Rob Glynn well back at the big tabletop and at the race five results this is the one that followed this one again it was Andy Watkins so Andy taking a clean sweep this weekend Chris Brown also being very consistent taking another second position those two guys really were on it putting on a incredible pace around here this weekend third position went to 65 Rob Prosser fourth position went to 120 Rob Glynn and fifth position went to 208 Rob Lewis so as you can see there it was no surprise for the overalls Andy Watkins taking first overall Chris Brown taking second Rob Prosser taking third Rob Glynn taking fourth and Rob Lewis taking fifth overall you enjoy riding Holston, don't you? Oh, I love the place, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, coming here about 35 years, something like that now, so uh, I've got to go every year. But... You don't get a bit old for throwing yourself around there? Well, not long as long as they're, they're all over 50, so that's okay, I can manage that. Yeah. 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 So the MX1 up next, sponsored by Paradise Motocross Holidays of Spain. And Kieran Malloy getting a cracker out of the gate there. Leading the charge, Adam Wells 156 closest to the screen. 161 Andy Wilson going through as well. Edward Briscoe as well getting a good start as well. Number 56 has did 237 Ben Rice through that rhythm section again they go. Very fast class this MX1 guys. Just watching even these guys further down in the field really attacking this rhythm section. A lot of other riders just trying to almost just ride through it but these guys really are hammering through that section. And a huge leap there from our leader 156 Adam Wells now so these guys really flying over this section some great aerial shots we're getting here from these guys and as I said earlier you've really got to be committed on that section some really long deep ruts on the approach to that uh, this particular tabletop so let's have a look how they stacked up the results for the uh, MX1 guys uh, in race one on the Saturday, it was Ray Rowson, number 12, taking the win. Lewis Meadows, 315, took second. Adam Wells, 156, took third. He had had a flyer out of the gate, but faded a little bit in that one. James Lasso, always consistent, took fourth. And Edward Briscoe, number 56, took fifth position. In race two, it really was an on-form Ray Rowson. The number 12 machine taking another win. Adam Wells moving up a little bit further, taking second. Lewis Meadows dropping down to third in race two. James Lasso in fourth, always consistent. And Andy Wilson, 161, taking fifth. In race three, another win for Ray Rouse, and He was really looking like he was going to be stamping his authority over this class this weekend. Edward Briscoe took second. James Lasso took third. Lewis Meadows took fourth and Stephen Wade took fifth position. Adam Wells had a bit of a nightmare, his rear shock blew and he had to go home and borrow one off Stephen Clark who'd just been racing at uh, Blacksall Pits at the Maxis Championship so that he could come back here and uh, race the following day. In race four it was James Lasso, the number two machine, taking the win. Kyle Lane took second, Adam Wells took third, Stephen Wade took fourth position and Andy Wilson taking fifth. 
Race 5, the one we're currently looking at now, it is 156, Adam Wells. Edward Briscoe is sitting there in second position, Andy Wilson will take third, Lewis Meadows will take fourth position, and James Lesu will take fifth. So, as you can see by our results page there, Adam Wells took first overall, James Lesu taking second, Lewis Meadows took third, Andy Wilson took fourth, and Stephen Wade taking fifth. So, a word without winners. Oh uh, yeah, today's been really hot. Yesterday was really hot as well, but luckily we had three races yesterday, so there was only two races to deal with in the heat, so it was a hell of a lot better not having to do three races in these conditions today, but the track was mint, they graded it mint both days, so yeah, over the moment. Brilliant, thank you mate. So we now move on to the 125cc two-stroke pass sponsored by Motor Connection. Let's look at this at that uh, field of 125. Not all of them new machines as well. You can see an old Honda there. We've got the 1989 Honda. And the one actually on this lineup as well. The 125 really have become a popular class again after the uh, AMA in America started to close out the two-stroke. The 125 is actually just later. The two-stroke is also a popular class. Highlights from as well. So we're waiting for the gate to drop. Eyes down, away we go. Good clean start there. And you can see our camera getting pelted by rocks. In fact, if you're wondering why we're actually down a camera now, one of our cameras got took out by a large rock. Uh, so we're down to just the three cameras for the rest of these highlights. So I do apologise about that. Well, as the riders went through this rhythm section, it was 54 Dylan Spencer, your early race leader. Second place was 11 Jack Camwell and third was uh, Callum Wardham. Couldn't quite see who was the other side of Callum there. And 74, Andy Lawton. Now, uh, interesting to notice Andy is on a, a 1990s machine there. It's just proving that in a two-stroke class, you don't need a brand new machine to be competitive. And just listen to the sounds of these 125 machines as they fly through the area. This class really always delivers some explosive racing the rider 125 as you can see these guys exploding out of that berm now they've got to be pinned all the time so they're really an entertaining class all the way through so as they go through race control on the end of the opening lap let's have a look how they did over the whole weekend 54 dylan spencer in race one took the win jasper hophill took second overall you remember jasper taking the win at brampton Third position went to 941 James Hanscom, fourth went to 292 Ash Harland, and fifth went to 703 Stu Owen. Race two, no surprise again, Dylan Spencer 54, looking very much in control in this one as well. 703 Stu Owen took second, James Hanscom took third, third position, fourth position, sorry, went to 331 Alan Pierce, and fifth went to 292 Ash Harland. Race three, it was this time it was a win for 511 Jasper Uphill. Dylan Spencer having to settle for second. Third position went to seven and three Stu Owen. And fourth went to 941 James Hanscom. Fifth position went to 331 Alan Pierce. Race four was another win for Jasper Uphill. Dylan Spencer taking second, James Hanscom taking third, Ash Harlan taking fourth, and Stu Owen taking fifth. In race five, which we're currently looking at, it was Dylan Spencer taking the win from Stu Owen, James Hanscom taking third, Jasper Uphill in fourth, and Alan Pierce in fifth. So let's have a look at the overalls, and it was no surprise in 54 Dylan Spencer taking first overall. Second overall will go to 511 Jasper Uphill. Third overall went to James Hascom, number 941 machine. Fourth position went to 703 Stu Owen, and fifth position went to 331 Alan Pierce. I'd like to think so. I've done this championship for three years now, so um, I mean, I've got the points lead at the minute, but hopefully I can wrap it up this season, yeah. Okay, it's got to be tough around here on a 125. It is, yeah. The uh, main thing is to keep your momentum going around the turns and then it just helps you lose down the straights, but yeah, it's definitely been a rough weekend. 
now going to turn our attention to the over 40s and ladies. Now, Chelsea Gowland just quickly showed you a clip of there. Obviously, a hot favourite coming here this uh, year. Uh, she broke her ankle or foot while leading the championship last year. Uh, came at a brilliant opening round at Fat Cats and then she had to miss round two at Brampton when she was away on international duties racing in Switzerland. That left the door kind of open, so she was here this weekend to make up a lot of points. Unfortunately, on a Saturday, she hurt her back. So Chelsea Garland is she's going to have to a big battle to climb this year if she wants to do well in the ladies championship. Walking down the line now, you can see Brian Wheeler, your reigning over 40s champion. Uh, so it's going to be expecting uh, good results from Brian. Well, gate drops and away we go. All our riders safely away. Now the over 40s will go and as they come around this part of the section we'll see the uh, ladies they'll take onto the line the left hand side of the gate and then they'll go as Brian Wheeler leading the charge as they come through. Looking for Danny Magoo Blakely in there as well. And here you go, you just see now the ladies taking their positions on the gate. Two gate drops are quite a common thing in America when there's a lot of riders to get through in the classes during the day. And especially on certainly large circuits like this, it certainly works. But the speed of some of these girls are soon being amongst the over 40 riders. Well, it is number 178, Amy Goodlad, leading the charge through there. Tanisha Thomas just coming through as well. Well, over on the far side of the circuit, the big tabletop jump. You do a huge leap there from Brian Wheeler. Danny Blakely also massive air as they came through there as the rest of the field comes through. Danny Blakely as well, also a two-stroke rider against a pretty uh, stacked out field of four strokes in this one. So a huge leap there from 178. Amy Goodlad lead, leading the ladies class. Look for 96, they've just gone through as well. Jane Daniels. Now Jane Daniels, he joined us uh, for the service of nationals at round two at Brampton. Now Jane is a very, very accomplished international enduro rider. Uh, many top honours in Europe and uh, the UK. Uh, Neve Holmes, a number four machine, she's out there as well. Look out for 21, Tanisha Thomas, Charlotte Hall as well, and Eddie Slayho, as we just saw Brian Wheeler going through that rhythm section again. So, the weekend for these guys and ladies in the over 40s race one, Brian Wheeler took the win from Danny Blake and Richard Collins in third, Rick Defoe, who were only rode with us on a Saturday, and Joe Barton in fifth. In the ladies, there is Amy Goodlad, Neve Holmes, uh, Nadia, Jones will also, Nadia Jones will also go missing, Tanisha Thomas, and Ellie Slayholm. In race two, for the over 40s, Brian Wheeler again from Rick Defoe, Danny Blakely in third, Richard Collins in fourth, Glenn Bixby in fourth, fifth position, sorry. Amy Goodlad took the win in the ladies, Neve Holmes took second, uh, Jane Daniels took third, Nadia Jones took fourth, and Tanisha Thomas taking fifth. In race three for the over 40s, it was Rick Defoe taking the win from Danny Blakely, Richard Collins will take third, Brian Wheeler will take fourth, and Glenn Bixby will take fifth. Race three for the ladies, it was a win for Amy Goodlad, second went to Jane Daniels, Neve Holmes taking third, and then Nadia Jones taking fourth, with Tanisha Thomas taking fifth. For the over 40s, race four, Brian Wheeler from Richard Collins, Danny Blakely in third, Glenn Bixby in fourth, and Joe Baston in fifth. The ladies in race four, it was Amy Goodlad once again, Jane Daniels in second, Neve Holmes taking third, Tanisha Thomas taking fourth, and Ellie Slayholm taking fifth position. Race 5 for the over 40s, Brian Wheeler taking the win again, Richard Collins taking second, Danny Blakely taking third, Ben Bixby taking fourth, Joe Baston taking fifth. Race 5 for the ladies, it was Amy Goodlad taking the win from Jane Tan Daniels in second position, Neve Holmes will take third, fourth will go to Tanisha Thomas and then Charlotte Hall will take fifth position. So, as you can see by our results sheets there, Brian Wheeler took the win overall from Brand Danny Blakely in the men's. Let's have a quick word with uh, Brian. Did you win all the races Spartan? No, I had a moment over there coming into the bomb hole where yesterday afternoon it was that hey, rough. Place, I actually Thomas. come off trying to work out where I should go. I went inside, tried that, outside, tried that. No, the third time I came around, I didn't know where I was going. And I, or consequently, I ended on the floor, in thinking about place, where I should have went. But Daniels. yeah, by the time I got the bike started, they were like gone. And I thought, you know what? Because it was the last last sort of race of the day in or something. Place, it was rough as a badger's more. backside. And I thought, yeah, you just we'll just finish here then. And so uh, we'll finish it off tomorrow, as in today, right, which in was a lot better. But uh, Rick Defer was on it yesterday. He was yeah. giving me our time, you know. Oh, and I seriously thought he was going to stay for another day. Yeah. But uh, he actually went home to the beach. Apparently, he said to me, "So I'm going to the beach." So, like, fair play to him. So, uh, yeah, it was all good, you know. Nice. Hard work. Very, 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 very hard work.
five? Lovely. Yeah, it was really good, yeah. I rode on Saturday in the Evo group as well, so I've done three days of racing, so I'm tired, yeah. Where are you from, eh, mate? Uh, Essex. Essex, how old are you? 26. Brilliant, thank you. 250cc, two stroke up next. Glorious sound of the machines. Again, this class has been very popularly supported. Supported also by Manchester MC. And you can see, just like the 125, as a lower rider is starting to move back to the uh, two stroke class. There are four gates here for the two stroke riders. Well, gate drops, and away we go. All safely away, blasting down into the tunnel. So, leading the charge down towards the rhythm section, early leader 28, John Robson it is. You can see 64, Corey Nemeth right there as well, Lewis Dares. Well, I wasn't too sure who number 18 was. That might be on somebody on a borrowed machine there. I haven't got out my paperwork. And some huge leaps over that big tabletop there from our 250cc two-stroke riders. Great to hear those machines as they fly through the air. So, how did the weekend fare up for these guys? Well, on the Saturday in race one, it was 64 Corey Nemeth. Took the win from 111 Lewis Dowswell. Third position went to 28 John Robson. Fourth went to Brad Wheeler. And fifth position went to number 10 Barry Turnbull. Race two, again, Corey Nemeth taking the win from 111 Lewis Dowswell. Brad Wheeler this time moving up into third position. Good solid rides from him this weekend. Fourth went to number 14 Michael Smith. And fifth went to number 10 Barry Turnbull. Well, as we watch all our riders safely through at the end of the opening lap, we then turn our attention to race three on the Saturday. And 64 Corey Nemeth taking the win. Uh, John Robson took second. Danny Shepherd took third. Third, Luce Dowswell taking fourth this time around, and Michael Smith taking fifth. In race four, it was Corey Nemeth taking another win, so Corey certainly looking for top honours this weekend. Second went to 111, Lewis Dowswell. Third went to number 28, John Robson. Fourth went to number two, Danny Shepherd. And fifth went to number 14, Michael Smith. In the fifth race, the one we're currently looking at some highlights from. Again, another win from Corey Nemeth. John Robson will take second. Third position will go to 111, Lewis Dowswell. Fourth will just go to number 379, DJ Walker. And fifth will go to number two, Danny Shepard. So as the checkers flags come out, well, let's have a look for the overall weekend results. And in no surprise, 64, Corey Nemeth taking the win. And I know he's going to be extremely shy and won't want to talk to us at the end of this one. 111, Lewis Dowswell to take second. John Robson will take third. Danny Shepard will take fourth. And Michael Smith will round out fifth in the, champ in the championship chase. So our final race that we're going to have a look at now, MX2 sponsored by Craig's Motorcycles and again another full pack down gate here. The Serbis National certainly has proven to be the rider's popular choice of championships, full gates at every round. It really is a popular series with all these riders. And, uh, you see here, very impressive line of MX2 machines. we go blasting off into the tunnel enjoying glorious weather conditions here this weekend the bank holiday weekend as Jamie Rainwright your race leader leads the charge from 110 Scott Hamilton through the rhythm section look at them powering through here another very hotly contested championship class this one here with your service nationals Jamie Rainwright very impressive here you can see just pulling on his roll off system as he flies through the air there no problems at all for him rest of the field snapping at his heels this is a very hotly contested this mx2 class so let's have a look how they stacked up over the weekend in race one on saturday it was a win for the guy currently leading now 40 jamie Wainwright. second went to 110 scott hamilton third went to 372 mitchell meadows 
fourth went to 155 James Angel and fifth went to number 47 Rob Ainley in race two just as one rider going down there it looks like he's going to pin himself under his bike there hopefully the yellow flags are going out but uh, he's safely getting out from underneath his machine race two it was Jamie Rainwright taking the win from 110 Scott Hamilton in second third went to 47 Rob Ainley fourth went to 361 Joseph Davis and fifth went to 155 James Angel in race three it was going to be Jamie Rainwright again so no, no surprise there definitely looking like he's going to stamp his authority on this, this class this weekend second goes to 110 Scott Hamilton third goes to 47 Rob Angley fourth goes to 155 James Angel and Mitchell Meadows 372 will take fifth in race four Jamie Rainwright once again Scott Hamilton also keeping it very consistent there in second Stephen Kelly will take third in fourth position goes to 372 Mitchell Meadows and James Angel again another fifth for him in race four so race five the one we're currently looking at now and as you can see number 40 Jamie Rainwright stamping his authority over this one as well Scott Hamilton another second position in this one and Stephen Kelly will take third James Angel this time moving up and getting a fourth position and fifth will go to 47 Rob Ainley so let's have a look how the overall stacked up well definitely not going to be no surprise a very talented young rider number 40 Jamie Rainwright will take first overall second will go to 110 Scott Hamilton third will go to 155 James Angel and fourth will go to 47 Rob Ainley fifth position rounding out the top five this weekend we'll go to 52 Stephen Kelly well let's go and have a quick word with our winner Jamie Rainwright Jamie, congratulations, mate. Right, I think we're moving Just on to the junior. Top around there, five races in that weather. Yeah, so in well, yeah, yeah. Weather's been really good here this weekend. Um, we had good starts, got out there. Um, but yeah, I've had fun. Yeah. Had fun. The start's the key to it. In first yeah, place, definitely the start. You get that in the top five, you should be alright. Like, 